All right, we're back. Let's go. Episode 2, Quantum Break. I'm ready. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No, no word, word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find him behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on him. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference let on expected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't, we can't afford, afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. plan. Now, I, I see, see two options. options. We, we could use force, force remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, disappear the public will start asking questions. Clear, sir. Potentially, Potentially turn on Monarch. Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, strategy get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the, the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. The memo view your decision, decision as a unified strategy, strategy moving forward. forward. Here we go, man. Sir, Sir. who is, who is this? this? Amy Ferrero. She's, She's one, one of the witnesses. witnesses. Awaiting your orders and how to proceed. My, My powers, powers grew stronger, stronger even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. So basically, we we're here and we're gonna we're like in a fork, and we're gonna be presented to two choices, and that will happen at the end of every chapter. You can go left or you can go right, and based on your decisions, it's gonna shape up the rest of the game. Ready? And Moment is gonna make the choices. Okay? So you have oh, to. No. We have the hard line. Ready to see the hard line? Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Show you a glimpse of what will happen. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hard line approach, crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us. And Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Now, let's show the PR approach. Okay. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to see. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey! Somebody sneak around down there. Hey! I think I know Jack 
Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. All right, so basically on the left, we kill all the witnesses, but then uh, Jack Joyce finds out what happens, and then the public turns against Monarch. The other one, this the witnesses leave, but they're like they're gonna make lies that you made all this mess. So the the public's gonna hate you, but eventually you're gonna get new allies with the witnesses because the witnesses are out there they know what really happened so kill witnesses and have the public against us or kill the kill the witnesses and have the public with us or let the survivors live and have the public against us ah uh. left or right man I have to go with Rai. Here we go. Moment is going to take the PR approach. <sighs> Initialize a PR campaign. I want us to be. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. And there's no wrong answer, man. So don't sweat it. Hey, I want this to be the game that you want to watch. Use the media so to just expose, then hunt for Jack. Just chose whatever you want. You know. I like I said, it's no wrong. I've played them both, both ways. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this woman. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. Going through the machine. Oh, wait. wait. No. no. Jack. Jack. This, this way. way. Jack. I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Right, 63% of the community went your way. If that makes you feel any better. Hey. Not bad, bro. Not bad. Here we go. Here he is the first movie. Clip. Time is up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. In the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? Stepfather. That's not my father, man. Quit making assumptions. 114 Lafayette. Is that correct? That, that was taken about five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement, and you don't want Michael outside of your house in Home Alone. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay. 
do it. I'm so glad we could put this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck is that? Knowing how is it important, you just need to find it. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. Yeah, go home. I'm sure your wife will miss This guy gets annoying, but just bear with it because eventually it's good gonna thing get about our friend Stan. His Stan, Stan makes it easy. See, See the, the guy, guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A? <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And then, what is that? What are you doing, bro? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on the table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? I will. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girls' video to Stan and our friends in WZWI, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. Oh, oh, you, you saw the other picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo and I packed into his camera and I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Bert directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that this guy? Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office.
kids. Things have been really bad. She doesn't know what he does, by the way. She probably thinks that he goes to flip burgers or whatever. Oh, I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Are these big furry bear paws? Way too big for your body. Your hair was falling. I was a strange creature. But I know it's you. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. Say, so there you go. So you're like the manager of like Whataburger or something. <laughs> Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm being difficult, huh? She's being very <laughs> difficult. I don't think that's the baby. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. You <laughs> Close your eyes. Moments, moment, close your eyes, man. What are you doing? What you doing? Inside ground zero perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. now. Exactly, your decisions are going to affect the most That's what they call it. there's a stutter in time because he just stops. But Paul Serene and Jack Joyce do not stop. They see the time go by. And it helped eager students from all over the country to further their dreams and interest in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Paul. There's been a development. Jack, you've already seen him tonight on the island. He'll be there, and he'll want revenge. We need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhere this guy to do. Your fifth column traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. 
You need your truth. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, oh like a thanks. I really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. I was over in the lab at the university this morning. Someone saw the equation. Huh? Yeah. Remember the, the board we, we saw? teamed up with local police to hopefully expedite the search for Jack Joyce and keep the people of Riverport safe as this very unsettling story continues to unfold. Sup, IT. And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... But you don't you have a life. Kind, did you? <laughs> no, it shouldn't be. Where's the coasters for those boots? It's cool over now. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what's the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on up there? The 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> Uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's, everything's fine. fine? Everything's fine. There was, was a shootout shoot at, at the university, university last night. Nothing, Nothing I couldn't handle. handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hash knows what he's doing. You going to go? To a party? Me? Let's go to a party. That's what she just asked. Uh, idiot. We can roll together if you want. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll, I'll go. go. Okay, buddy. Buddy. Oh. What are you gonna yeah. wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll go, go naked. naked. Nice. nice. I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my dad. So. <laughs> See you tonight. Yeah. Not naked. Please. See you tonight. Yep. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. I think like 20 year old with like a 4 year old man mustache man. It's 
called a lifeboat protocol, and, and it, it can, can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down your knees. From Wilder, do not make me ask again. Joyce is took down half by men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding. Now give a fuck. I am with Monarch. On your knees! Maybe if they take me in, it's the end for me. The end for you. Now! Just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find a life. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! Think you're a kitty cat. It's like both protocol. What, what is, is it? it? I don't know. But Dr. Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Guy, man. <laughs> Forty more to go. Oh man, I want a car junior now, man. Disgusting. Well, you waited like two hours later, man. Charlie. Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Okay. Um, can we talk somewhere some private? Uh, it's really rad. Uh, but the, I know. Uh, it'll be really, really quick. quick. Yeah. yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's, there's nothing there. Huh? There's, there's nothing, nothing there? He like, like he just wasn't there, like, or what? No. Yeah, like he wasn't she, there. Um, he reassigned me. He, he wants me. Secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. Hey, he sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, yeah sure. Let me uh, see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce is no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks, looks like you, but that's, that's weird because, because you, you work, work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does, does not, not work, work for Monarch. Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, I right, shoot that guy in the face right there. Nine, eight. If I'm gonna make it near with you. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Oh, man, I was shooting. Listen, oh yeah, I, I would have shot him. Near the main overpass. Shoot him at right. My monarch employee. Get your blue shot. Now free of charge. Get him an eight shot. Damn, stop! 
fucking superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. Nobody should. I know. South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. There you go. This is not computer, man. This is they filmed it. It's like a movie. All right, man, that's the end of this episode. How do you like it so far? I mean, I like the storyline. Right. And how, like, they made, like, usually those games with, like, the time and everything are usually, They like, never work out very good. Yeah, they're always, like, weird in the movies and stuff, but... Right. They actually made this, like, pretty cool. Right. Yeah, it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. It took forever. It took, like, two days to download these episodes and the... Uh, xbox but it's worth it yeah all right man we'll be back with episode three or chapter three episode two yeah well we hope you guys like the video make sure to subscribe like and hit the notifications button to see when we post our next episode you got it baby yeah well we'll see you guys on the next episode bye